Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing one of the most coveted and revered of modern Speedmaster Professional limited editions. This is the Classic in its own right, 2008, 1,970 piece limited edition Omega Project Alaska 2 reissue. A watch that's absolutely dripping with vintage vibe, rare equipment, and a sensational boxed set with tons of accessories. This is a memorable watch. Launched in the wake of the blowout Omega Mania auction of 2007, this watch immediately became Essentially, the only Project Alaska 2 anyone can really own, as the originals number only single digits, and this timepiece at 1,970 simply isn't numerous enough to satisfy all those who would love to own one. So let's take a look at it on the wrist and then take a look at the accessories. The watch is 42 millimeters in diameter. It's a classical moon watch. It's relatively average for moon watches in terms of thickness at 14.2 millimeters. The sapphire display backs are a bit thinner than this, but this is par for the course for the solid case backs. Lug to lug, 48 millimeters, and between the lugs, 20 millimeters. Now the watch comes with two different bands. One is the nylon with Velcro that you see right here, and you can see the temperature range of this watch when equipped with its anodized red aluminum carapace. You can see some of the details, including the Lander-style chronograph indicator on the strap itself. You can see that hour and minute indicator very much in the image of a lunar module. Now the timepiece features what is best described as a Velcro strap, not a NATO. Let me quickly pull it off my wrist and I'll show you some of the finer details. The strap is nylon on both sides and you can see that it uses Velcro so it is capable of getting wet. It uses red anodized hardware and you can see that it's color keyed to the dial which features a very faithful recreation of the Alaska 2 dial with the Lander style chronograph registers, the sort of inverted color scheme and of course you can see the tachometer outboard in the traditional anodized aluminum. Now it does feature a Hesselite crystal and it does feature the standard Moonwatch caliber 1861, 18 joules, manual wind, 48 hour power reserve, very, very tough and shock resistant with a cam system and a lateral clutch that's about as tough as a chronograph can get, 21 six beat rate and I have to say it's a testament to the industrial prowess of Omega and Lamagna these days that the Lamagna based cam ca uh, chronograph is as crisp as a column wheel. If you have a really good cam, it can be as crisp as a column wheel, and that's what you get with this watch. Now the timepiece is pretty much built around its accessory set, so I'm gonna bring in a few uh, separate details from the accessory set. You can see the traditional finish with the polished bevels and the satin finished sheer sides. It's very standard externally. You don't see much action until you get into the accessories, the case back, and the dial side of the watch. Let me show you the case back one more time, real quick, so you can get a load of that. Remember, this is an honor to the Project Alaska 2. If you remember the original Speedy Tuesday, that was in some ways reminiscent of the Alaska 3. And if you're wondering what an Alaska 1 looks like, well, it's a giant cushion-shaped thing made of titanium. So this is what the watch looks like on its accessory bracelet. You must put it on the strap to wear it with its, shall we call it, exoskeleton or carapace? Let me show you what that looks like. I rarely do boxed set inclusion in my videos, but this is a rare case where I feel like the set is so special we need to talk about it. It comes with a polishing cloth, it comes with a wallet featuring model specific certification cards, pictogram limited series attestation, and the original warranty card. The watch comes with the Project Alaska anodized aluminum outer casing which increases the size, let's get real close here and perhaps give ourselves a bit more light, but it increases the size of the watch when fully encased to 58 millimeters by 23 millimeters thick and you can see how the system goes together it's essentially a twist lock internally a cradle for the watch the system originally designed to help the watch conduct heat away from itself and reflect heat away from itself you can even see on the exterior of the case that the operating range of 148 degrees celsius that is negative to over 260 degrees Celsius and this is a fully functional watch. The technical boast being made here is backed up by the capability of the watch and this exoskeleton. Now underneath the exoskeleton in its little cradle you find a set of strap tools which is a whole lot of fun because you get the opportunity to put it on its accessory bracelet. There is a lot going on here and you can see that 
the case itself, and this is just the inner case, is an absolute embarrassment of accessory riches. So there's a lot going on here. The timepiece remains technically identical to, let's get close again, technically identical to any other Speedmaster professional moon watch, which means that it's 50 meters water resistant. So highly temperature resistant and fortified against the ravages of space, but perhaps not one to swim. And that's pretty much the extent of the limitations on this extraordinary watch. Full of accessories, in fantastic condition, with everything down to the original sales invoices from the dealer in Hong Kong. This is the 2008 1970-piece Project Alaska 2 tribute from 2008. See it and own it on the watch box. Because I know you're dying to see it all together. You can even see that the case back of the exoskeleton is cambered, so it'll trace your wrist. A monster, and a monstrous collectible. Fully loomed chronograph on the Project Alaska 2.